Hello, my name is Marianne Hoffe, and I'm a National Director with Lovelings from Ontario, Canada. I love this industry, and I've been part of it for over 25 years. I had no idea prior to becoming part of the home party industry that this industry could offer so much to women. Any times that I had gone to home parties, it was never presented as a business. It was more, um, I had the idea that women did home parties to get away from the kids and to get their products at a discount. And yes, you do get to get away from the kids and they, you do get your products at a very good discount. However, it offers so much more than all of that. And I am so very excited that you have seen Love Wings as a viable means of an income for you. That you've joined this business and whether you're looking for something on a part-time basis or whether you're looking for a changing career, that it, this is an incredible industry to be part of. So um, I'm so excited for you. By now you've, you've got your business off to a start by watching some of the various videos that have been provided for you. You've been watching videos and trainings on um, getting your business started, on hostess coaching, on um, tips on bookings. And bookings are very, very key to your business. We've had these successful women um, giving you various tips throughout the videos. And the reason being that bookings are the foundation of your business. Without bookings, you do not have a business. And um, these fabulous women um, being very successful in their businesses and in getting bookings have had some really great ideas to be able to share with you on that. So we want your success and a full booking lineup is very, very important to that. So I'm gonna discuss a few other areas that are also key to your business and being a professional businesswoman. Yes, you are the owner of your own business. Congratulations! You need to see your Lovewings business as being a business and you as the owner. Whether this is a part-time business where you're going out and, and spending a few hours a week doing it or whether you're looking at this as a changing career. Either way, it is a business and you are the proud owner of it. So congratulations on owning your Love Wings business. So take pride in this. And let's chat about things that make you more professional in your business. One is have a referral program. It's good business sense. And women like to help other women. So by asking for them to help you in giving referrals is a very, very key part to that. There are various different programs you can use and by all means ask others on an idea. One idea that I will give you is you could simply say that for any referral for show, I'll give you a $25 gift certificate. And when you refer someone to me who joins my team, I'll give you a $40 gift certificate. Do remember you are buying your gift certificates or providing the product for them really, through your existing discount, which as your discount increases, bigger discount, um, less cost there as well. And also, um, you can also use your free product bonuses, which are very generously given to you through Love Wings to support this program. Let's talk, point number two, about image. For your shows, you're re representing the Love Wings company and you're representing your Love Wings business. We want you to dress professionally, and by this I do not mean a three-piece suit. Um, we are in a fun business, but depending if you work at another um, job outside of doing your Love Wings, it's very important to dress for success. You wanna wear something comfortable, but you wanna wear something that you look good in and you feel great in. You want women at your shows to aspire to do what you do. Please refrain from wearing jeans or dressing too casually. 
if um, you're trying to figure out, do I need to put together a new wardrobe for my Love Wings business? What you might want to do is put together two or three different outfits and um, two or three great tops to wear with a pair of black slacks or whatever. And um, then you can mix and match them between your shows. Again, when you feel comfortable and you know you look great, it gives you more confidence as well when you're going out. You want to be approachable, but you want to look professional. Point number three, anytime you walk out the door, look in the mirror first. Would you do business with you? Yes, even if you run into the grocery store, take a couple of minutes to change from the baggy t-shirt, toss on some lipstick. If you're walking down the grocery aisle and you see someone there that you want to talk and introduce your business to, you don't want to be running and hiding behind the, the um, um, display or whatever so they don't see you, okay? Um, so when you walk out the door, make sure you know that you're ready to, to talk business as well if the opportunity gets um, in front of you. Point number four, get real comfortable with your personal story. And this is a story that you're going to share with others, and it's also one that you're going to be sharing at your shows. And you do this at the beginning of your show. And this story is all about you. This is the time when you, you share in your goals um, about why you made the decision to join Lovelings. It's also the beginning of rapport building with your guests. And these are your future hostesses as well. These women could be your future team members should they decide to join your team. So when you share your story, you're kind of letting them in a little bit on, on again, why you decided to make the decision to join Lovelings for yourself, for personal reasons, for your family, and and what you're looking for from this business, why it was a decision that was a great decision for you. It's just a few minutes long at the beginning of the show, and it gets them thinking about why they might want to join Lovelings as well. The next area is the close of your show. And this is different from the opening when you spoke about you. Because the closing is all about them. And you want to share with every hostess and guest what Love Wings can do for them. So to give you an idea, I'm going to share um, a segment that you could, again, you'll personalize this and make this yours. But to give you an idea, you may want to say, ladies, I'd like to take about two minutes to invite each and every one of you here tonight to think about becoming part of our Love Wings family. There's really three great reasons. First, you're in business for yourself but not by yourself. You can enjoy the flexibility of being your own boss. And you know, ladies, the most common factor that prevents women from joining our company is they think they don't have enough time. And in fact, Lovings is a perfect opportunity for today's busy women. You have complete control over your own schedule. You get to set your own time, you get to set your own pace, and you get to set your own goals based upon what you want. And I'm confident that when you find out how much money you can earn and how easily with Love Winks, that you'll be able to find that little tiny bit of extra time to help out with your family's budget. And the second reason to join Love Winks is we give lots of support. We truly are a family. And we value each and every Love Winks consultant. We want to help. Um, every Love Wings woman to reach your personal and professional goals through our guidance, education, recognition, and motivation. We want to help you lead a happier and more fulfilling life. And third, well, <laughs> you get paid to party. You have fun. You get to meet great ladies just like you. And you get to help women enjoy a well-deserved fun Love Wings Girls Night Out. So to give me an idea of what you can earn, and if you were just holding one show a week, you could be earning an extra $800 to $1,000 or more a month just by doing what you see me doing here tonight. So think about it. And every party is payday. So just to recap, we get paid to party. We have great support in this business. 
and the flexibility to decide when we want to work. So if you're at all interested, please make sure you chat with me afterwards. So after the presentation, talk to everyone and be relatable. This is so much a relationship business. And just chatting with the women, listening. You've, you've listened to your hostess and guests throughout the whole evening. And what you're doing in listening is you're trying to hear what their own personal passion might be. The reason why they might want to join loved ones. And the reason why you would think that they might be great at doing loved ones. So, for example, little things would be to, to walk up to one of your guests and say, Oh, Mary, you know, with your sales guy, I know you'd be fabulous in love with us. Or Sue, you're so funny. Oh, my gosh. You'd be great at showing our love with products. Or Kathy, you know, with those three little children, I think you deserve a few more nights out. You could have so much fun with this. And you can make this really great money. Nancy, you are amazing. I would really love to chat with you about starting your own love ones business. Little things like that. Sharing with women. And again, so much of this comes from listening. Listening, listening, listening. Yes, that's my point number seven. Listen. You have two ears and one mouth. Okay? Your guests will tell you many things about themselves. Things that you can relate to. Things that, that you will hear them saying. And they'll be more likely to be open and listen to you if you're relating to them. They'll be more open to purchasing products from you, to booking parties with you, or talking about the business. So listen, listen, listen to what you hear them say. And when you have someone who would like to talk to you afterwards about lovelies, make sure you set up that appointment to talk to them within the next 24 to 48 hours. Point number eight, smile. You will have so much fun showing your Love Wings products. Make sure that when you do your segment about booking or recruiting, that all of a sudden you don't become super serious. Share both of these segments with a smile. And share it from within you. You know, this is your business, and your love and your passion will come through to people when you're talking about it genuinely and when it comes from the heart. So make these segments yours. In some of these trainings, um, the different women will have shared verbiage, much like I just did earlier, okay? Now take that verbiage and make it yours. Make it so it feels comfortable, so when it's coming from you, it is coming from you. And again, make it come from the heart. This is your business. You're excited. You've got this fabulous, fabulous new business. You want to share it with others. And they've got to feel that coming from you. So, yep, be relatable. And it helps if you chat with your hostess ahead a little bit about her guests. It helps you in advance if you know who you're working with. So if you've got a show and it's a group of stay-at-home women, or if it's shift workers, if you've got women who are mostly single or mostly in relationships, you wouldn't want to be at a show talking about you and your partner. Oh, and by the way, always say partner versus saying husband. It kind of saves um, certain issues there. And then afterwards, you discover that you've got 50% of the women at the show who are single and 
you know, then it ends up that you're kind of like, they're just tuning you completely out because you're talking about partners, partners, partners. No. So those are things that you, if you know ahead, it helps you relate to them a little bit more. If you go into a group and they've got mostly young children and you have children, well, you, your story will relate a little bit more. However, if you're going into a group and they really, there's not many of them with children, don't bring up your children, okay? Um, otherwise, then what will happen is they'll, when you're talking about the business, they'll think, oh, well, this will be great someday when I have children. So, again, how you present, you present different areas based upon what you know about your guests. So, again, how are you going to know that? You need to chat with your hostess and ask her to share a little bit more about your guests so that I can make my show and my presentation more about what they might be looking for. So again, it shows that you have a genuine interest in your guests as well. Point number 10 is be reliable. If you say you're going to call someone, set a time and a day, and then do it. If you're doing a hostess coaching call, before you get off the call, set up when you're going to be calling her next, and then write it down and do it. Reliability is what people look for as well when they're going to be doing, looking at perhaps maybe doing business with you. And our hostesses are always our best source of a recruit as well in coming in and joining your business. But it's also being reliable for that hostess as well. When you're showing that you're professional with her and you're reliable, then she's going to, you're going to be able to rely on her a little more as well in helping do the steps that you're sharing with her to do to have a successful show. Number 11, it bears saying again, be professional. And there's so many things in being professional in your business. Arrive at your shows in time to get set up prior to your guests arriving. Um, be there 30 to 40 minutes ahead and ask your hostess ahead, you know, as far as parking, you know, or such. In some locations, it may add time into you having to get there and in and out and whatever. Know that ahead. Ask your hostess ahead, again, about setups, what you're going to need. Um, is it a living room, dining room combination so that you'll be able to do your display in that room? What do you need? You don't want to walk in and say, oh, my gosh, where am I going to do stuff? Okay? Be prepared. Chat with her ahead a little bit. Share with her that you need a private shopping area for the privacy of her guests when they're doing their orders. Arrive to the door with your purse and a bag in hand. Not with a bag hanging over your shoulders and you're carrying this and struggling and whatever and trying to get in on one trip. No, you don't want to look at a pack like a pack horse. It doesn't look professional and it doesn't look like it's anything that anybody else would ever want to do. Arrive on time and ensure you leave on time. If you're doing a show and it involves family or friends that you're attending, remember they may have other guests there as well. So do your business first. Finish that. Pack up. Put your product at the door or in your vehicle, depending upon the time of year, and then come back and be a guest. But when you're at the show, you're doing your job. Professional as well in doing your setup. Your setup for your show is your store. So you can do, add seasonal touches are great. Keep it simple looking, but keep it inviting because it is your store. Start your shows on time. You will have stragglers that will come in, but it's professional and it's being more considerate to your guests who do arrive on time for you to start on time. It is much more considerate for those guests who maybe are paying a babysitter or have to be up early in the morning for something else, that if they've arrived on time, that you are respecting their time. So again, um, be timely, start your presentation, and if some are running late, that's okay. They can join in. If you're asked a question and you don't know the answer, just reply with, that's okay. <laughs> it's a good question. I'll get the answer for you. And you're not going to know everything. None of us do. So again, um, there's 
many sources to get answers to your questions. And you can always just make a phone call as well. Always be positive. If you have a bad day, leave it at the door. Okay? Your hostess and your guests don't need to know. You're a professional businesswoman. That's the image you present. Providing great customer service is professional as well. Don't we all appreciate great service? So make sure you're providing it. Process your orders quickly. Don't hold on to them. If a hostess wants to go out and get other orders and she wants to keep a show open for a week, don't do it. Close your show off. Preferably close it off that night. And share with your hostess, it's okay. Any other orders you get will process as another order and you'll still get the same great bonuses from it. When your orders um, arrive, your product will be shipped directly to you and then you do privacy packaging so that each of the orders when they are delivered to the hostess are all personally packaged and sealed. Very important. Your delivery to the hostess, um, you want to get to them quickly as well. For your deliveries, you can, um, if it's a close, very local show, then of course you'll drop it off and if not, then just um, package it and send it out to them. Um, in Canada, you'll want to go to the post office and get a priority um, one card. It um, gives you discounts on your shipping and you just need to provide a business card to them and um, it saves you 5% on your um, shipping and it also gives you a faster service. When you're doing your follow-up calls for guests, they appreciate you calling them. It's not being pushy. So this will also give you repeat business. And if they have questions, they might not call you. But if you call them, then they'll ask you the questions regarding product use. And they may also, again, be more open if you're calling them to check in on them, to, to be booking with you or be giving you referrals. Point number 12. Learn, learn, learn. Read up on key products. Take two to three topics. Educate yourself so that you can educate your guests. For instance, do a, a segment on pheromones, sharing why they're great. Keep in mind with your products when you're sharing them, what is the feature of the product and what benefit will your guests gain from using that product. Continue with watching back office videos. Attend your Monday night conference calls. Um, attend any type of training or meeting you can possibly, possibly get to. Your confidence will soar. The more you understand and know the products and the benefits and get the feel and the flow for your shows. When you're feeling more comfortable, yes, you will feel more confident. And bookings will come easier. Women will want to have shows with you and women will want to join your team. So your first shows, they can be your easiest shows and they can be your hardest. You're booking them with your family and friends, <laughs> hence why they can be your easiest and why they can be your hardest shows. Some of you will have your family and friends clamoring to have shows with you. And others of you, those people, very same people are gonna be uh, disappointing you, okay? It's going to happen. That's okay. Somebody else. You've got free product today. Make another phone call. Call your sponsor. Call your upline. Ask for help. Just keep going. We're all here for you. You've heard you need to get no's. Yes, you do. You need to get no's so you can get to those yes's. And those yeses are going to turn into great hostesses. We're going to introduce you to some fabulous women who are going to love you and love your product. So just keep going. We all want you reaching your goals that you've set for your business. And if you haven't written your goals, you need to do it. Then share it with the person who brought you into love with. Share with them what you want from this business. Once we know, we can help you and help guide you with your plan. My booking tip for you is I want you to call someone and I want you to share with them, I have this amazing bonus and I've saved it just for you. Sally, grab your calendar. Let's get the girls together for a fun night. 
I never ask someone to book a party. I ask them to get the girls together for a fun night. Doesn't that sound just a little bit more fun than book a party? We will discuss bookings with you as part of your business. But let's make it a little more fun. Let's just get the girls together. And you can create some amazing bonuses just using your discount levels. As a new consultant getting started, you're at 35%. Keeping that in mind, you know, you could offer them that they can get any two items they want, their choice, even the most expensive item, and get it at 30% off. Oh, my gosh. And as your discount increases, you're going to offer them 40%. You will have ups and downs. It's called life. But just don't let the downs stop you. Keep your focus on your goals and ask for help in reaching them. My assignment for you is to pull out your goals. And after you've gone through these trainings, you maybe have some clear steps to take. Now, along with your goals, you need to write down a plan on how you're going to achieve the goals that you've set out. And then you need to send it to your upline. If you do not have a plan, a goal is only numbers written on a page. And if you haven't written them down on a page, then that's called dreaming. <laughs> okay, so they, first of all, you need to write your goals down. Then we need to create a plan for it. So ask the person you brought into the business, ask your sponsor. Ask your upline director. And do it and get back to them within the next 24 to 48 hours. Do it now. We need the plan in place now. You are the owner of a successful Love Weeks business. And your successful business starts the day you decide to make it happen. A great quote is, the road to success begins and ends in the mind. Decide, decide on the success for your business. You decide. You make it happen. We all have the same amazing product line. We all have the same incredibly generous compensation program in love links. What makes the difference between those who succeed in this business in reaching their goals and those that don't are the ones that keep going and keep focused on their goals. This business works when you work the business. So congratulations and welcome to your successful Love Weeks business. And welcome to our team of amazing and incredibly talented women. And you are one of them. I am so looking forward to applauding your success. Welcome to the Lovelinks family.